What effects have you seen that the oil and gas industry has had on the, the marine life and uh, fishing industry and lifestyle up there? Yeah, you know, there was a survey, they called it, there was going to be a, a kind of pre-survey for oil and gas resources. And we didn't know anything about it. We've, I'm, I'm a local fisherman in, in Vesterholm, it's called. It's, it's an area close to Lofot in the northern part of Norway. We didn't know anything about it. And, and during three years, three seasons, we were struck by this. Uh, 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 the fish went away. Uh, catches went immediately 60% per, 60 down. That means the big fish that was able to run away, run away. And it never came back. It's, it, now we have 2012. It's been three years since the last shooting they did. And it never came back. Yeah. This is how it is. This is this is terrible. And, and 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 I feel sorry for all the fishermen here. First of all, I feel very sorry for them because they didn't know anything about the consequences, just as we didn't. But during those years, we got hard evidence about seismic shootings and the effects of it those shock waves those are this, this it's explosions in the sea 18 meters below the sur surface fish every 10 seconds there is an explosion and there is, we have hard evidence that it scares fish at least at distances at least 18 nautical miles which which is about 33 kilometers and this is just what we, what we know. We believe it kills a lot of fish too. And, and, and you know the small ones, they are stuck there. They are not able to get away. And what about the, the, the food for the fish? And the food for the seals? And the food for the, the marine mammals? And the the seabirds, what is happening? We saw, we saw uh, 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 birds lying on the, uh, uh, you know, on the roofs. They would die. We saw those effects. But we cannot say, ah, this is a proof. But we are fishermen. We are, we are the only group of, of um, what do you must say, uh, put it here in, in uh, Ireland. Um, we are the only professionals who are in touch with the nature all the time. What's your perspective on how in Norway how the oil companies have, have dealt with and, and, and tried to split the fishing community? Yeah, this happened in Norway too. Exactly the same happened in Norway. They put the money on the table and said to the Norwegian, hey look here, if you take those money you can st you get this money if you stay on shore and about 50 percent of the fishermen did they took those money and uh, no it was not a the situation was a, a kind of disaster i may say but <laughs> when you when you when you thought again about what happened this is the evidence this is the evidence Coexistence is impossible. This is one small evidence for Irish fishermen. Yes. Exactly the same thing happened in Norway. First, they didn't want... Um, we, when we claimed for, for um, um, the government to pay for our losses, they said, no, there is no money. The next year they came then they said, ah, maybe you could get some money. And we had to apply for, for those money after the shooting was over that, for that season. And we got some money. So we didn't get all, but we get some. And the third year they came, in 2009, 
Then they put the t money on the table and say, here, look, take this and stay on shore. Yeah. And they split it, the fisherman. It will always, money will always split people. Either, uh, whether they are fishermen or not, it's like that. It's like that. And may maybe some, some people take money, but you cannot say that those people love, love their oil activities. You cannot say that. They may be just as much against as, as I am. And I believe all fishermen here are against it. But they, maybe they thought, we cannot stop it. Because this is what I was told in Norway in 2007, and in the very beginning. Every fisherman I, I spoke to, oh, there's no use, there's no use of protesting. Because they are going to get it. They are that powerful that they, they are going to get it. And I said, we have to try. We have to try. And we have tried. And so far we, we have been successful in those areas. Where the cod is, what you call it here, breeding. Breeding grounds. Yeah, breeding grounds, yeah.